Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to watch. I've got a forecast for you guys um, in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Cheyenne, Wyoming, sorry. Um, so, we have a very strong and dangerous storm that is going to be impacting in the next few days. Uh, it's going to be life-threatening situations for many areas. So, I'm going to continue doing these mini-updates, or sorry, mini-forecasts on basically all these major cities being impacted by the storm. Uh, you may... Ex you may expect a uh, forecast for Chicago, um, but I think I'm going to wait until we have uh, a lot of model run time to forecast that. But for now, we're going to stick with the areas that are uh, pretty much a little bit farther to the west. So right now, we're going to do Cheyenne. So as you can see, this is basically what's been happening in the last few hours. You've, you've been dealing with some snow. And some rain mixing together uh, throughout the uh, area, but this is kind of similar to uh, uh, Rapid City. So, you know, last night I did Rapid City, and we have a similar kind of setup here, where you get the first bands come through, and you're dealing with snow and rain kind of trying to battle with each other. But you're not getting any like frozen. You're not getting any like ice or freezing rain. It's all either snow or rain, and it's not heavy. It's usually it's very light. So, we're really going to continue watching this pattern. I'll play that. I'll put on the play for this. Uh, but you can see that this is moving southeast. And you do have a little bit of a heavier band of rain that's moving through uh, Cheyenne at the moment. This is 8.52 a.m. And this is trying to get through Cheyenne, but uh, that's pretty much what's been happening. And then you have your snow that's holding off to the northeast. And we'll continue watching this. This might head for you guys in, uh, I think, Sydney. Uh, yeah, Sydney. Um, and, and if I pronounce any of these uh, city names wrong, that's on me. I'm sorry. I'm just trying my best out here. You know, trying to uh, make sure you guys kind of just know what's going to be happening. So, you know, that's basically what's been happening in the last few hours. And we're going to move it to... Uh, basically your forecast for today. So th this is, these are your, uh, current warnings. You have, uh, a winter storm warning that goes out for a lot, uh, if not all of, uh, Wyoming. This goes out for Pine Bluffs, uh, Sh Chug Chugwater, uh, Wheatland, uh, Douglas, Bill, Casper, and pretty much all this area here. Um, but then look at this. You do have already a high wind warning that goes out for uh, Bonster, uh, Boster, Larman, and um, the uh, Centennial area. I really don't know if I'm saying that right, but, you know, again, I'm trying my best. But uh, this, is, this is posted because you've already been dealing with gusty winds. There have been reports of winds gusting to 45 miles an hour, uh, maybe even plus. So... You're definitely going to see this wind threat continue to build. Uh, and as you get later into the storm, like as the storm continues to move through, you're going to see a lot bigger threat for those gusty winds. But we're really going to be focusing on that deeply in this update. So today's forecast for Cheyenne, you have a thirty a high of 30, or right now it is 35 degrees. Today's high is 45 and tonight's low is 31 um, so today it's going to be mostly sunny and windy, uh, but I would say that you could also have a chance for some rain and snow showers uh, early into late day today, and then tonight you'll have clouds gathering, and it's going to be windy. So it's there's definitely it's definitely going to be windy uh, to you know right now, and then into later parts of today, but the biggest threat is tomorrow. I would say. Um, and then you do have this blizzard warning that goes out for Shirley Basin, uh, Rollins, Elk Mountain, and Muddy Gap. So this is definitely going to expand because, you know, they're already, it's almost like they're tell the National Weather Service is warning us, you know, that they're about to post it, but they just want to let us know that this is no joke. And this definitely has the potential to have almost all of Wyoming included in this. Uh, but, you know, it's showing that also that when you have these early winter, uh, these early blizzard warnings, 
those you those areas usually get the most snow. But you know that 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 doesn't mean that you could see the most snow in areas a lot farther west. I mean that's definitely that's definitely a possibility. But you know we're really we're going to focus on Cheyenne because that wind threat again is going to be very high and you're going to also get some blowing and drifting snow. Okay, so we'll move on to your weather story. So this is basically uh, kind of what we just talked about. This is uh, your blizzard warning here in uh, orange, and then you have your winter storm warning here in pink. So this is for the blizzard storm warning and the winter storm warning. Tuesday, uh, so Tuesday night into Wednesday night. What? You have moderate to heavy snow, snow accumulations. West of Larman Range, 8 plus inches likely. East of Larman Range, 6 plus inches likely. Uh, Larmy Range, I think that's, you know what it is. Uh, Larmy Valley and Cheyenne County have the lowest confidence in reaching 6 plus inches of snowfall. So, you know, that's, excuse me, that's basically uh, what this is telling you because, Again, you have the blizzard warnings out, but this isn't out for Cheyenne. This isn't out for most of uh, the eastern half of Wyoming. So far, this is out for uh, a little bit of western Wyoming. But again, you still have that chance that's out there. Because this is not too far away from Cheyenne. I mean, this is like, I don't know, uh, maybe like 20 miles away from Cheyenne. So, you know, it's it's still, it's still out there. Uh, but... You know, this is where this is most of southeast Wyoming and western Nebraska. That is for the winter storm warning. Southwest is for the blizzard warning, I would say. Because this is all southeast uh, and eastern uh, Wyoming. But this is all, uh, the, all this blizzard war or this blizzard warning is included for uh, counties in western Wyoming. So right now we're focusing on basically... Uh, a lot of eastern and central Wyoming. So, uh, this has been, this blizzard warning has been moving into parts of central Wyoming, which we're taking a look at right now. So, when? Tuesday afternoon through Tuesday night. So, you want to stay up to date with the latest forecast. You always want to do it. It'll just like this, you know? I'm going to continue doing forecasts for this kind of area, not this the Cheyenne area, but the whole area within the storm. Also, be on the lookout for upgrades to the watch. Uh, you know, I say this a lot in my uh, forecasts and updates. This is a winter storm watch here. Uh, and this is, I think, I believe this might be... Um, I think this is South Dakota up here, but uh, there, there definitely is going to be a very uh, likely chance for this winter storm watch to be uh, upgraded. Um, at least part of it, you know, I think, I don't know if all, I don't think all of it's going to be upgraded, but you're going to have at least part of it going to be upgraded. So you really want to watch today for these, uh, threat, these, um, I guess alerts to be upgraded. So we're going to go to your high wind event. So <sighs> forecast peak wind gusts through early Tuesday afternoon. We're going to take a look at this later. Right now we're going to read what we have. So, through Tuesday night, a prolonged high wind event is expected across most of southeast Wyoming Sunday afternoon through early Tuesday afternoon. So, you're going to have, you're definitely going to have that wind event. We just don't exactly know how strong those winds are going to get. We just know that it's going to be damaging. There's no question about that because you already have those, um, uh, those wind warn, the high wind warnings that go out for the Arlington area. Uh, Garrett, Shirley Basin. So basically kind of that similar area to the blizzard warning, except a lot smaller. So strong, strong crosswinds will pose a hazard to transportation with extreme blowover risk for light, high-profile vehicles. So you see this uh, truck kind of looks like a semi-trailer. Uh, those winds could definitely topple those trailers. So uh, if you're thinking about traveling, um, Today, tomorrow, or even maybe Wednesday, just don't do it because, you know, if you have, I mean, look at these wind gusts. You got 67 in Wheatland. 
78 in Arlington, 71 in Rollins. I mean, this is this is far from just damaging. I mean, this is extreme and life threatening. For road information, dial five one one. Visit yeah. So you're going to have the damaging wind threat. You're going to have damaging winds. That's all. That's all expected. But what's possible is down here. So, a prolonged high wind event is expected across most of southeast Wyoming starting this afternoon and continuing into early Tuesday afternoon. Wind gusts in excess of 80 miles an hour are possible for the wind-prone areas, including Arlington, Elk Mountain, uh, Brodex, I think I think I'm saying that wrong, but in the south, uh, Lar- Larmy Plain. Uh, range plains plains lower elevation can see gusts wind gusts in excess of 70 miles an hour so this is the whole area you have arlington here on the map 78 miles an hour this is not your average wind event these very strong winds and widespread winds are expected to continue over the course of the next few days biggest impacts will be transportation with strong crosswinds uh, posing a blow of a risk to lightweight and high-profile vehicles. Winds will, will finally ease Tuesday afternoon as an Arctic front approaches. So, uh, it's it's a pretty similar kind of system to what we've been seeing in the last few weeks, which is you get the system uh, around early week, uh, well, early weekend into early, or early week, and then on the back side of it, you get a Arctic uh, push, or Arctic front that comes in behind it. But you're going to get uh, the most Arctic air is going to be uh, on the back side of it, so when this moves out. So I'm thinking like when, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning is when that Arctic front finally pushes in and all these temperatures just go plummeting. Um, but yeah, I mean, that is pretty, that's pretty crazy. Did we take a look at this? Uh, no, we did not. So, this is the outlook for pretty much all the storm. High wind event warnings go out, or high wind warnings go out in effect Sunday afternoon slash evening for most of the southeast and southeast Wyoming. So, basically what we just talked about, but in like a nutshell. Uh, Then you have much colder temperatures are expected behind the Arctic front Wednesday and Thursday. High temperatures in the single digits and teens are expected. Uh, so this is a very strong Arctic front that's going to be pushing down into the uh, northwest and eventually uh, the southwest. Um, extremely cold wind chills are expected Wednesday in, in uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Wind chills are will likely fall below negative twenty five degrees. This is, I repeat, this is. Life threatening wind chills that are expected. I mean, this is below 25. Blowing snow is also possible. Um, and then look at this you have the impact level. So, so, uh, yesterday you had a minor to a moderate risk. Uh, today you have a moderate, slightly getting a little bit more major. Tomorrow is where tomorrow into Wednesday, the transition. From tomorrow into Wednesday is where you're going to see that uh, biggest threat for life-threatening impacts. Uh, so, like the middle of the night to uh, the middle of the night tomorrow um, into very early morning Wednesday is where you're going to see that threat. But this does continue throughout uh, Wednesday and Tuesday, and then finally uh, early Thursday morning is where you're going to see those. Uh, high winds start to subside. So, you know, by Friday you should have uh, minor impacts, but I really think that you might even have uh, none or limited. So, um, you do also have prolonged moderate to heavy mountain snow expected early Monday morning through early Tuesday morning. Multiple feet of accumulating snow expected. Strong winds are also likely, which could create near zero visibility. Um, so mountain areas, upper elevations of uh, Wyoming, you guys also have to watch out for this uh, risk as well. But I, I mean, I know none of you live in the mountains, but like, you know, those upper elevations are going to see very, uh, very extreme and dangerous uh, conditions. So you obviously don't want to go 
hiking or anything during this system. An Arctic front will bring widespread to moder- uh, widespread moderate to heavy snow in the area Tuesday evening through Wednesday evening. Widespread snow accumulations of 5 plus inches possible. So, you're going to have that heavy snow threat again. Uh, then I don't think we need to read this, but uh, yeah, so that that that's pretty much the whole uh, idea of this system. So we're going to move it on to your uh, severity index. And so this is right as of now. This is as of now. Um, and this, uh, this counts for, we'll go to days one to three. Okay, so, so this is the duration of the storm. Uh, right as of now, the National Weather Service is saying you sh- in Cheyenne should expect moderate impacts. So expect disruptions to daily life. Hazardous driving conditions. Use extra caution while driving. Uh, closures and disruptions to infracture many may occur. So this is not, we're not even in the, we're like basically in the beginning of the system. And we're already at a moderate risk. So you do definitely you should expect upgrades to this uh but i wouldn't say for pinpointing cheyenne but i would say in the area you will uh almost definitely have a uh upgraded risk to a major impacts but uh this means you have the damaging wind threat you have the uh excessive snow amounts and you have that uh road conditions those road conditions are going to be very uh very dangerous out there so uh, like it said on here, uh, use extra caution while driving. You're going to have those slick roads uh, with with um, some of that early rain that's going to freeze. All this rain that we've been experiencing in the beginning of this system, that's all going to freeze because of these uh, wind chills. Well, n- not the wind chills, but also the temperatures. So it's a whole cycle that's with the storm, and you have many factors with the storm. You have the Again, you have the wind, you have the snow, you have the uh, te- life-threatening temperatures, you have the uh, road the um, road conditions. It's all included in this risk. Um, we'll just slightly go a little bit slightly north just to check out kind of what's been ha- what's going to happen up here, um, and then you finally get into the uh, upper elevations here um, p- around the Plate uh, area here and Ridge Creek. So kind of this whole area, you will have a, so far, major impacts. So, you know, it's just something to consider. Uh, not Well, not only consider watching, but you definitely have, you want to watch. Because if you're not aware of, you know, how bad the storm's going to be, that's a problem. Because when it's this bad and you don't know how bad it's going to be, I mean... You could definitely have uh, life-threatening um, situations. So we're going to go now to your wind gusts. So we're going to go kind of like hour by hour, and we'll go throughout each day. So this is today. So 7 a.m. This is kind of like a few hours, uh, a few hours ago. You had 42 mile gu- winds gusting to 42 miles an hour already in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So. It's already, you're already getting those gusty winds. There's no doubt about that. That's why you have those wind, those high wind warnings that are already out um, for the area. Uh, but watch as we just continue, and it still just keeps going. Look at Rollins, 56 miles an hour two hours ago. We'll go to 10 a.m. So pretty much right now, let me see what, it's 1030 right now. So this is uh, half an hour ago. Rollins, you guys gust into 57 miles an hour. So that is uh, definitely damaging winds. Um, you have 47 and 45 around the Cheyenne area. We go to 1 p.m. today. It doesn't stop. This now moves into Cheyenne, giving uh, wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour. So you're definitely going to see that blowover risk, not only uh, tomorrow and into Wednesday, but also today. This is, this is midday today, and you're already having wind gusts getting into the 50s. Uh, 4 p.m., you got 51 in Cheyenne, 54 in Rollins, uh, Douglas at 38, Riverton at 11. Uh, you do also have Yellowstone at 27, but that's uh, way, that's far 
northwest. Um, and then we're going to move this to the next 12 hours. So this is tonight. We have, uh, this is 7. You have 55. Rollins gusting to 55. Cheyenne gusting to 49. Douglas gusting to 31. Uh, and Riverton staying at 11. So, uh, you, you're going to see that this threat, kind of, this, like, band of wind is what I call it. It kind of just stays put. It doesn't kind of move through the area. It just stays put. And, you know, kind of, it's almost like its own storm system. Except it's the band of wind. So, you guys in Rollins, um, you're gusting to 57. Cheyenne gusting to 48. Douglas, 30. Riverton, 11. So, this is 10 p.m. tonight. Uh, middle of the night tonight uh, is where things get pretty uh, pretty dangerous. 60 miles an hour in Rollins. I mean, I'm going to round up from 59 to 60. So, uh, expect wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour uh, middle of the night tonight in Rollins. So, you know, maybe consider sleeping in the uh, lower level of your house because, you know, if you have any trees in your backyard, you don't want to, you know, sleep uh, near them because you could have a tree fall on your house and then that could be dangerous because, number one, you're going to get a hole in your roof where those dangerous wind chills are going to be able to chill you while you're sleeping, but also, too, you could get crushed by the tree. I mean, this is serious. This is not, this is not a joke. I'm not joking. Like, you might, you should consider uh, sleeping on the lower level uh, if you're not already sleeping um, in the lower level of your house. So, if you regularly sleep, um, if you normally sleep in the upper level of your house and you live in the Rollins area, I, uh, I urge, I urge you to, uh, move that down to the lower level. And then 4 a.m., uh, again, you're staying, you're staying to 59 in Rollins, uh, you got 40, winds gusting to 46 in Cheyenne, Douglas, 45, Riverton staying at 14, pretty low. Um, and then we'll go to the next 12 hours. So this is Tuesday. So this is tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow morning, you'll have 58 in Rollins, 46 in Cheyenne. 10 a.m., you got 53 in Rollins, 39 in Cheyenne. So you see a small uh, break midday, uh, late morning to midday tomorrow. You'll have a tiny break, meaning that you're going to have wind gusts subsiding by miles per hour like, maybe five miles an hour at most, so you don't want to say, like, oh, it's getting a little less windy, so I should go outside, like, no, it's definitely going to continue, but it's going to get a tiny bit weaker around the midday point tomorrow, and then 1 p.m., you still, uh, keep, those winds still keep subsiding, 31 in Cheyenne, 47 in Rollins, 41 in Douglas, um, and then 4 p.m., you know, you get even less. You're at 26 in Cheyenne, 44 in Rollins, and 35 in Douglas. So you're going to see Tuesday, you're going to have a smaller a smaller chance for those damaging winds. But then Tuesday night, you're going to ramp up again. 7 p.m., you're back into the 30s in uh, Rollins. 10 p.m., I mean, it's this is Tuesday night. But you're going to see this band up here. Um, this is going to kind of just move around here. Let me get back here. So 7 p.m. tomorrow. So tomorrow evening. There's going to be three separate bands of uh, strong winds that are going to move around the um, state. Um, but it's mainly going to be north, I would say. Um, and then 10 p.m. You finally start getting this uh, little one up here. Um, this is east of Yellowstone. Um, this looks like you have gusts probably in the 40, 50 range here. Um, but we're going to see if this moves south. And it does slightly move south. Kind of builds this little line here. And then that finally is your, uh, like, main line of storms, or main line of wind and wind gusts that's going to move through Wednesday. So here's your transition into Wednesday, and there's your uh, main threat. 10 a.m., 53, uh, this would be west of Rollins, 50, uh, but look at this big, uh, area building here, um, if I could click here, this is, uh, Rock Springs, Wyoming, T uh, today's high is 35, chance of precipitation, 7%, 
Uh, and there is a blizzard warning for Rock Springs, Wyoming. Um, and then 1 p.m., this continues moving towards Rollins, um, but Cheyenne, again, you guys are going to stay at 20 miles an hour. So it's not quite over Wednesday, but, um, you know, it's going to get a little bit better. <laughs> and then soon you're uh, finding yourselves into Wednesday night, and uh, you're not really going to have much left. So, you know, uh, it's it's really the main threat's going to be tomorrow into tomorrow night. I think that's where the main threat's going to be um, for southeastern Wyoming. I think northwestern Wyoming, you're going to see a more of a all-day threat between Tuesday and Wednesday, but I think southeastern Wyoming is just going to be Wednesday, or sorry, Tuesday into Tuesday night. So we're going to briefly check in on the FV3, just kind of show you guys where the snow is heading. Um, so we'll start out at the beginning of the ball run. So this is 8 a.m. Uh, today, I believe. Yes, this is today. And you, and here's your band of rain and snow that's moving through Cheyenne. And watch as this uh, low pressure is still trying to move uh, out of Canada. Uh, so around 5 p.m., so the evening hours of tonight, you're going to have some clear skies. So it's going to be like the quiet before the storm. You're not really going to have much happening uh, tonight. But then watch as this moves in Tuesday. Watch how much snow just moves through Montana, uh, Idaho, and soon to be Wyoming. And just this just completely, it almost like, it seems like it's obliterating uh, Utah, uh, Wyoming, Nevada, you know, all these areas here. And, and you do get a few rain showers that could move through, but I think it's all going to be snow. And you know this it's it's so heavy here. Look at look at this. It's the dark blues in here. This is uh this is eleven p.m. uh tomorrow. So the overnight hours of tomorrow, you're gonna have that threat for a a, a very large amount of snowfall that's going to fall. And this just stays around for a few days. This is the twenty second. It's still snowing, uh very heavily here. And then on the back side of this, uh, around the 7 p.m. Um, on the 22nd, so this would be Tuesday, I believe, or actually, no, Wednesday, you're still going to have a few leftover snow showers that could even get heavy. So we're going to quickly take a look at your snowfall totals before we wrap this up. Um, but you can see that right now I'm pretty much focusing on uh, the, the Wyoming area, and then, uh, yeah, so you get a lot of snow, so I think that's going to kind of just wrap up the video, but, um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next update, so, uh, remember to keep an eye out for that damaging wind threat that we're going to continue watching in the next few hours and the next few days.